Hi, I'm Rob Randall, Chief Executive Officer of ACARA, and I'd like to take a few moments of your time to talk about our move to online assessment. In October this year, young people from about 700 schools around the country will participate in the sample Civics and Citizenship Assessment using computing devices. They'll do the Civics and Citizenship Test online. This is the first step towards our move, our goal of moving NAPLAN online in 2016. And those young people this year are complementing other work that we've got going on in schools around the country to help us with that move to online. But why the move to online? Really important from my point of view to share with you some of the reasons that we want to move the NAPLAN assessment online. The first one is that we can change the nature of the assessment. Instead of every young person doing the same tests as they currently do, we will introduce what we call tailored testing. So as the young people are engaging with the test with the computing device, there will be automatic marking going on and young people will be directed to more demanding items or less demanding items depending on how they're going. And through that tailored testing approach, we'll get a better estimate about how young people are going in the important areas of literacy and numeracy. One of the other advantages that we'll realise through the move to online is to shorten the time frame for the return of information to schools. And we're looking at ways that we can return information to schools almost immediately after the young people have completed the assessment. In that way we'll get some information back that teachers can use to inform their teaching and learning. It'll take us a bit longer to get the scaled results back but again I think they will be in a much shorter timeline than it currently takes. The third advantage I'd want to focus on with the move to online assessment using the technology to deliver the assessment will be that we can increase the accessibility for young people. Sight impaired, hearing impaired, others with vision uh, difficulties. The, on, the digital medium allows us to tailor the presentation of the assessment uh, to, to meet those young people. So they're three of the assessments and I guess three of the advantages that we'll realise through this. And I guess I'd also want to plug the fact that in 2016 we'll be assessing against the Australian curriculum. But if you'd like to know more about what we are doing in that move to online assessment, I invite you to come and visit our website, have a look at some of the reports that we're starting to publish on that site, or contact us through our info at ACARA email address. I look forward to hearing from you and responding to any questions that you want to put to us. Thank you.